Drake sends a warning shot at Joe Budden. That's right, on Drake's Instagram story, Drake just posted a picture of Joe Budden. But what could this mean? Is this an escalation of their ongoing war for Dominican bartenders? Or is this just a head nod? I see you, I'm in New York, come holla at me, Joe. Well, I don't know. I tend to think this is a warning shot and that the two really don't like each other. For example, all you gotta do is look back at when Joe Budden made the critique for all the dogs. It seemed to get insanely personal and the Joe Budden caption that Drake made on his Instagram or actually the comment, oh man, that was pretty fiery. I mean, the guy was talking about this dude, Joe, like he was some type of has been who never accomplished anything in music made him seem like someone who was salty and mad that the industry didn't really rock with him he was bringing out how his greatest supporters were in Nietzsche shirts by the way drake i don't know what's wrong with Nietzsche. i don't know what's wrong with academics those were some of the fine garments back in the day i think you owe them an apology but as to what this could mean, I, I, I have no idea. One thing I will say is that I don't think Drake and Joe Budden like each other. I think many have tried to say, oh, these guys are the same person. That's why they always go in at each other. Well, eventually that type of dynamic ends up in hurt feelings or, you know, bruised egos. And yeah, I'm pretty certain these dudes don't like each other i think anytime they make some type of peace treaty it will ultimately get broken and if you look at joe budden and the way he's been talking about drake since the for all the dogs review it hasn't been in the best light you know he's actually curating the dialogue about drake's fall off on the patreon friday he was talking about yo you could argue that drake's fall off like this is it right here this is what it looks like. He's trying to hang out with the young. It kind of looks crazy. When the case could be made that Drake, you know, let's talk about it. Jay-Z, by the time he was 37, he wasn't really a factor to the young audiences anymore. My nephew knows who Drake is. My nephew listens to Drake. No, but he wouldn't even know who Jay-Z is. Like, you cannot... Even he would probably know him more as Beyonce's husband, and I know that's tough for the old heads to hear. But you got to give it up to Drake, man. He's been relevant for a long time, and on top of that, there's this whole Kendrick Lamar complication where you know Drake posted Joe Budden on his Instagram story. However, he has stood silent about Kendrick. And I'm honestly surprised. I'm a bigger Drake fan than Kendrick. I honestly don't even listen to Kendrick like that. I've listened to Drake for the better part of a decade and a half. So to me, Drake is the far better artist. I know a lot of you fans are going to be angry. Be like, Danny, you're not real. You're not artistic. You stupid. But I think Drake actually demonstrates range in a way that no other artist in rap has done before. Granted, people always bring up the Ghost Rider allegations. I don't care. I still think Drake is lyrically better to me than most people who have ever rapped. For someone who does pop music, the levels to lyricality he can reach is pretty insane. But Drake, you need to get back at Kendrick. That boy is knocking on the door. He's looking in the peephole like Mark Wahlberg in fear. It all could have been different, Mr. Walker. You should have allowed nature to take its course. In the end, it will anyway. So let me the f***ing house! And you gotta answer the door. You gotta open the door and say, hey, what's up? What's up, Kendrick? What you wanna do? Because I think Drake can defeat Kendrick. That's my opinion. I think Drake, his braggadocious style will be too much for Kendrick. And... Let's talk about it. This Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick dust up reminds us of the hierarchy. For a long time, J. Cole has been kind of pushed into this triumvirate 
you know, like they, they pushed him into that. But now you see when the shots are fired, nobody really cares about J. Cole responding. It's all about the A sides. It's all about Drake and K Dot. Interesting, interesting. I'm sure people do care about Cole responding, but everybody is just focused on Drake not responding and Kendrick responding while everybody just doesn't really pay attention to what J. Cole is doing. I could be wrong, but I think I am right. Now, let's go back to what happened. Let's recap. Drake just posted Joe Budden on his Instagram story, basically saying, what's up, New York City? Drake has his concert in New York City. And to me, it looks like a warning shot. It looks like they are exchanging shots. Joe Budden on his podcast, Drake on his Instagram story. Let's see where this goes. I want to be clear. I don't think these guys are friends anymore. I think that ship has settled and sailed. But let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think Drake was trying to accomplish with this post? Do you think this is a diversion attempt to avoid the Kendrick smoke? Man, answer that, man, Drake. Answer that, man. Make a mixtape. Do a mixtape. Do a whole mixtape. Just, you know, each song dedicated to all the people who plotted on your downfall. Seven songs. One for Ross. One for Nav. One for Joe. One for Future. One for Kendrick. I want to see it. I need it. Take hip-hop to a new level. It's getting a little stagnant. Summer's coming. Summer 2024. Summer 2020 more. All right, y'all. That's my video for today. Things are heating up. I have more content coming. I think it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace.